people for the ethical treatment of animals. Psh, yeah, right. So PETA has become a member of an anti-pit bull coalition that is calling for a government ban on pit bulls. Not a surprise. PETA isn't the pro-animal organization that they claim to be. Their shelter in Virginia euthanized, killed, 88% of the animals that they brought in. 88%, that's extremely high. They've also been in support of killing straight and feral cats instead of supporting trap neuter release efforts which are a humane way to reduce overpopulation. Now they refuse to stand up for pit bulls. Even if you don't care about pit bulls or dogs, this is a liberty issue. The government is telling you what kinds of dogs that you can and cannot own are on your own property. Over 700 U.S. cities have enacted breed specific legislation targeted at pit bulls. The government is taking away family pets with force and killing them. It doesn't matter if the dog has never hurt anyone, has never done anything wrong. The dog is guilty because of the way it looks. It's totally unfair to judge a dog solely by its appearance. Pit bulls, they have square heads and can have bulky bodies which make them look scary, but pit bulls come in all personalities, judge them as individuals. And it doesn't help that the media misidentifies pit bulls all the time. As soon as a dog attacks somebody, the media is quick to label that dog a pit bull. Pit bull, pit bull, pit bull. to identify even if you're a dog expert. It's not just one breed of dog, it's multiple breeds of dogs, it's a type of dog, and it's hard to tell sometimes. This whole, oh, just ban it and it will magically disappear. Logic is foolish. It doesn't work with guns, drugs, or dogs. Government bans don't work. If there is a demand for something, a black market will be created to satisfy that demand. For instance, in New South Wales, Australia, it's illegal to buy, sell, or own a pit bull. As a result, there's a booming black market with these dogs selling for up to $2,000 each which is a problem because these underground illegal breeders probably are not properly socializing these dogs, which only creates problems. When pit bulls are outlawed, only criminals will have pit bulls. Drug dealers that have pit bulls for intimidation purposes are not going to care that they're illegal. In fact, it's a plus to have an illegal dog. Why make it more attractive for these types of people to own these dogs? There is actually no evidence that BSL has reduced dog bites, and it's super expensive to enforce. In one year, in Prince George's County, Maryland, it cost taxpayers half a million dollars to enforce. One year. BSL is anti-liberty, dumb, and it doesn't work. So screw you, PETA.